30 seconds into flight. Now you can note the speed and altitude graphics there uh, at the bottom of your screen. 7,000 feet and climbing. And the chart at the left is tracking the main milestones of the during the flight. Beginning throttle down for Q limiting. Engine response looks good. Right, it looks like we've passed max, max q. q. There you hear the, on the radio there, the uh, max Q has passed. That's the uh, point at which the aerodynamic pressures on the vehicle Mach are at the max. Mach 1, vehicle is supersonic. All right. And you can just see the glow of the engine there. And engine then we back up to full the throttle. Onboard. The onboard camera looking down at West Texas. Chamber pressure looks good. Passing 70,000 feet. Now the parachutes, they're, in, they're essential for providing a gentle touchdown for the capsule and it also has a retro thrust system on the base of the PDS capsule, enabled. which is going to make the final touchdown even smoother for those astronauts. Under 1,000 feet here. That uh, retro thrust system fires just moments, fire. moments before the touchdown to slow the capsule down to just a few miles an hour. It kicks up a tremendous cl cloud of dust there in the desert, but rest assured the astronauts today will enjoy a nice, soft touchdown. Again, great uh, work by our drone team in West Texas today. <laughs> Capsule touchdown. Oh, touchdown. Auto saving start. Welcome home, NS-37. Our astronauts have landed and they have touched down back in West Texas. Welcome home, crew of NS-37, the 37th mission to space for New Shepard. Status. Thank you, Jeff and Blue Origin. You are extraordinary professionals. On to orbital missions, the moon, and certainly Mars. To my team at Laundry Lux, Always be bold! Yeah. Yeah. There we go. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you, everybody. That was fantastic. Oh. <laughs> to get their pictures taken, which is a... Uh... Thank you. Thank you. A piece of memorabilia for themselves as they had to exit the capsule here and get their picture taken. All right, so next, I, th I think, should be uh, Mihi is going to exit next, and so you'll see now the special accommodations that they're going to do here. They're, they've got this, uh, this uh, bench system that they've... Modified in order to uh, in order to help Miki out of the capsule, and you can just see on the screen all the hugs that the astronauts are giving their loved ones, their fellow crewmates, and also our crew member sevens. Okay, so here is Hans is stepping out of the vehicle. This thing's out. Yeah, so Hans inside the capsule, uh, 
he basically had a uh, job to do, which was to uh, get Mihi positioned so that she could exit the capsule. And then he comes out, and Mihi, Mihi will be next. Guys are nice. <laughs> Got really quiet all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I love hearing the the crowd there cheering her on from the from the ground there at West Texas. And we have our CM7 Sarah Knight and Jake Mills. They're going to lift Mihi down into the wheelchair and she has completed her journey to space and back safely back home on earth. Look at that big smile. <laughs> Oh, the joy that she must have right now. So cool. So we're going to hear uh, now from the astronauts here in a second. So what's going to happen is Jake Mills, our crew member seven, is going to uh, catch up with a few of the astronauts. And... And we continue our live coverage here, we here as we oh, see Michaela, who was severely injured in a mountain bike accident seven years ago, safely returning to space, becoming the first wheelchair user to launch Missy. into space. <laughs> what we're going to do is Thank we're going to turn back up the sound. It looks like they are now doing an interview it was with her. The coolest experience ever, honestly. How did, how did it feel to be unconstrained by gravity? So Super nice. I tried to turn upside down, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, the, the, the leg thing you did worked quite well. All right, good to hear. But I also, I didn't only laugh like the view and, and the microgravity face, but I also laughed all the going up. <laughs> that was so cool, like to feel every stage of going up. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> you told me after your, ac your accident that you thought this dream of going to space was no longer possible. You just showed the world that it is possible. What would you say to Let's folks that? Yeah, what would you say to folks that have given up on a dream because they thought it was impossible? I think you should never give up on your dreams, right? But I mean, there's also sometimes just a low probability that it comes true. And I just got very lucky, and I'm very grateful that Blue and Hans and everyone said yes to this journey. Yes. So. We're grateful for you too. Oh. Congratulations. <laughs> 